Hello, welcome to the Knit Girls. This is episode 599. One more. She keeps trying to get me in a chipper mood. And One it's just more. Not gonna happen. <laughs> um, I'm Laura, also known as Lala. I am Leslie, also known as You Don't Call Me Less. Today is the 12th of December, 2022. It is. Um, Laura and I both use the she, her pronouns. And we have done this almost 600 times. Almost. So close. Whew. Um, that's a lot of just that's a complete lot of nonsense. <laughs> just <laughs> so many hours of garbage. nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is typically a knitting show. Yep, I only have one thing to show. I only have one thing to show. Perfect. I am knitting on a sock. This is strawberry or er, um, knit spin farm pick strawberries day, and my head it's strawberry season. It's mm. giving me kind of a little bit of Christmas vibes yeah. though too. I thought it was Christmas when I first looked. Oh, at. there you go. Um, this was her club from I don't know when, but probably a summer month I would guess. And it is on Targi Sport. I'm knitting it on size one needles. They are um, the Addy. Um, Square. Squared. Rocket Thank you. Square. Rocket squared. Although I want to try their new unicorn needles. Um, and I ordered some and they haven't come yet because... Because they're purple, right? No, they're pink. Okay. They're sparkly pink. Okay. <laughs> they have sparkly pink cords. Um, but yeah. So this is the first of two. And I am working on the heel increases now. It is a toe-up sock with gusset. Um, that pattern is like the basic heel that's in Socks on the Plane. And yeah, so that is going. I'm about, I have one more set of decre er, increases, excuse me, and then I'll be working on a heel. So that'll go well yep. as we uh, Absolutely talk. Absolutely won't be a problem. Nope, not at all. In any way. <laughs> so that is what I am knitting on. What are you knitting on, friend? Uh, I'm knitting on the Bloom Top, which is by... Gosh, I don't know. I made this too small. Or I blocked the thing. Sorry, our show notes are up on the screen as well. Um, Bloom, I don't know who it's by. Becca Knits. Becca Knits, okay. Um, all this stuff... And everything else that we talked about is linked in our show notes, and our show notes are on our website, which is the Knit Girls with three L's dot com. Um, so I'm knitting out of this. This is all I have left of the first ball. Oh wow! It's never ending. Um, it's 437 yards. It's by Camellia Fiber Company, and she's a Nashville dyer, Nashville area. Uh, and this is uh, an alpaca silk linen blend and I wound this on my automatic ball winder and usually that gives you a nice like sturdy cake it's but so slippy. the drape yeah. yeah it's just all collapsed in on itself um I started years ago only using yarn by pulling from the outside of the cake yeah I highly recommend that to you regardless of whether it's lace or any weight or any texture you will thank yourself just pull from the outside of the ball it will not collapse in on itself right which is and create tangles yep that is the number one reason why i use it and if your ball winder sometimes hiccups mm -hmm. then you'll have to wind it on the outside anyway yep um so it's a it's really nice to work with um it's not as hard on your hands as a pure linen because linen, pure linen doesn't stretch at all. Um, but it, it still is, is not as comfortable to knit with as wool. It doesn't have that stretch. Right. That give. So this is a top down pattern with lace sleeves and a lace front. And I am three rows away from separating the sleeves. I really tried to get to that point before we recorded, but it just, each row takes like half an hour now yeah because the sleeves are i have big arms and so the sleeves are large so i'm very close to getting to a point where i can join it in the round that's exciting at least now the sleeves and the the fronts are on the same chart like i don't have yeah. to hop between different charts oh good they're on the same like row chart um 
and it is a pretty easily memorizable chart so um, I just have to check at the beginning of each row like what fancy stitch I have to do to get into the pattern but yeah in the back is plain stockinette and the top has a feature where the back towards the bottom sort of comes around to the front so you see um, that stockinette sort of edge around towards the front at the, uh, as it goes down so uh, yeah I hope to split for the sleeves tonight if possible I've been knitting and watching Taskmaster episodes. I have too. I was spinning and watching Taskmaster last night. I was watching season 14. Yeah, that's what I'm rewatching. I'm on number five. I haven't watched it for the first time, so. Oh, I think I watched season 14 up to episode four or five when it was, like, airing. Uh-huh. And, um, I got Michael to put it on Plex, so. Oh, well, that's good to know. Um. I think I'm on the third or fourth, maybe the fourth episode now. Uh, but yeah, so I've just been knitting and watching um, Taskmaster, trying to get through to the point where I have fewer stitches on the needles. That would be lovely. Um, <laughs> and that is living in a super old Joanna Springs I love that. knit spin farm bag. Um, but I don't know if she makes bags anymore or not. I have no idea. But, uh, Not very often. If anymore. she does, it would be sporadic, yeah, with with random updates. But yeah, that's basically all I'm knitting on. Um, I have some finished stuff. Yeah. So this, I finished these socks for. These are for Laura's dad. If you see him out and about, please don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that's a thing we have to say now. Um, so these are out of the Day Hiking Color by Willens and Nosh. And um, it's a sport weight, it's a Targi, that same Targi sport weight, really lovely knit. I used more of a skein than I've ever used because I typically don't have tall um, cuffs. And this is for a man's 10, 11, I don't know. She's reading a chart, um, a pattern, so yeah. So these are done. I did my typical um, 56 stitches with a top-down heel flap, and hopefully they fit. If I'm not, sure they will. They'll fit somebody else. So these are for Wheezy, and these are for Mama Lerman. So they have matching socks. I need to block them, but after that, they'll go home with Laura because she will be going to visit them um, in a couple weeks. In a week. Less than a week. Oh, wow. I know, right? Christmas, yo. That is crazy. Um, oh, the Gramercy cardigan is done. I was trying to get some pictures, but it gets dark at like 3.30 here, so yep. it's just, it just hasn't been possible. So I just put it on my... Was it this week? Oh, nope. My We're going to it this weekend. <laughs> Maybe Saturday. Oh, you leave on Sunday. No? Um, well, it's changing. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to leave Sunday now. I was going to leave Saturday so I could stop by a house on the way. Yeah. But my parents are very busy on Saturday <laughs> and they won't be home till like 6 p.m. And so, um, I mean, there's you can no, get into their house. I can get into their house. Yeah. But I can also just, the weather is going to be the same on both Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay. So I, and I have stuff to do around my house too. Like taking pictures of you and your cool grandma cat cardigan. My, um, fourth grade teacher cardigan as Michael likes to call it. I love it. Um, so this is Gramercy by um, sorry I don't remember the name. It was in Pom Pom. Yeah it was in the Pom Pom issue 42. It's linked in our show notes. Our show notes are on the knitgirls.com So this is the front. The buttons are tiny little cat buttons <laughs> that I raided from Laura's button stash. She did. Um, they're linked in the show notes as well. But it's um, by the same person who designed the sinister, sinister again. cardigan. Yep, and cardigan. It's like a cardigan with like cat faces on it. That is gonna be my sweater of my like fourth grade teacher sweater. That's in my queue. Point. I like it. I just haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, so it's. Um, this is the front of it, and this is the back of it. I knitted out of um, Webb's Amherst uh, base, which is 100% wool. I don't believe it's a superwash, which is totally fine with me. Um, I'm really happy with it. 
it's super cute. It fits. Um, it's a little bit short, but it was either stop there or knit an entire another motif, and then it would have been too long. Um, and most of my cardigans are plenty long, so this is fine. I'll have an alternative for. A It'll be good shorter. for over like a uh, tunic or um, or like overalls a dress. or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's not cropped, but it's just it's higher than I would higher typically hip wear. Higher length, yeah. So, Top of jeans length. Uh, maybe slightly longer than that, but but just barely. Yeah, it's very close. So this is done, and I'm happy with it. Um, I hope to get some pictures at some point, just because it's an awesome old lady sweater. And then the only other really thing I have to talk about are watercolor. So I'm still doing 30 day watercolor with Zanina Nabil, Nabil on Share Skillshare. Um, we're not affiliated with them or anything, but I, I linked the class that I'm particular class that I'm taking. Um, I like her; she's very patient. But she does a lot of the time say it's really easy <laughs> <laughs> and for you know people with innate talent it probably is really easy but there are some things like oh that's really pretty i find sketching really hard like if you told me to draw i don't know a banana right i would draw everything side profile right if you asked me to draw what a banana would look like if i was looking down on it from a table i'd be completely hosed right I, perspective is a real difficult thing for me i don't know why it just is but um some of these require perspective shifts and i struggle with those so i love that one um this one i sort of messed up the colors in this middle section but i it's fine i don't dislike it i so, love it um this one was my second shot at this because the first one i messed up so badly um, and I still don't particularly love the clouds. Clouds are really hard, but um, I do like the reflection in the lake and the color I got with the the meadow. So, you know, I learned something. This one I really like. Oh, I like that one too. It needs like a single like ornament or something hanging from one of the yeah. branches. That would be super cool. Yeah. Yeah. So this one um, was a winter scene, and it's even got the little shadow, which I was happy I was able to get that to yes. sort of work. Um, so I like that one. This one I, was one I tried today and friggin' hated because I messed it up really bad, but I feel like it's important to show stuff that are not, that's not perfect. That I don't yeah. love. Um, so this is another one where the perspective of the boat, it wasn't just looking at it side on. It was like sort of at a tilted like 30 degree angle. I have a really hard time with that. So if anybody knows of any like tricks tips for that i would love for to classes know. um i'm up to my neck in classes <laughs> so the boat is is not supposed to be like you're looking down on it right it's supposed to be sort of at an angle um so i'm trying this one again i started it i just i've only got the sky part done so far on the second try so um i like the colors i just i don't know if i was rushing or just whatever it just didn't work but that's okay um, yeah, so that's basically everything I've done in the that's past That's exciting. Week. Um, I am warm. turning a heel and then I will be right with y'all. Okay. So I have one finished object and it is a hot. Oh yeah. So this is a test knit for Shana Lance Designs. It is called the Blind Contour Hat. This is the largest size, um, which is like a 22 inch maybe. Mine might be larger. Larger. I didn't really gauge swatch. I'm going to gauge swatch on the next one because um, I'm going to knit it more than once. It is just a simple hat from the front, but it uses short rows to add like a slouch mm. in the back. So, uh -oh, hair's coming down. Hair's coming down. So, on me, let's see, let me find the center of the back. And I like how it, like, so it's a nice, like, slouchy hat. So you don't um, have to finagle it to slouch, it just does yeah, it. Yeah, it just does it because of the short rows. So, yeah. super smart. And the short rows, um, there's also some garter stitch detail. So yeah, 
I enjoyed knitting it immensely and I will knit it again. I'm going to knit it a couple times. So this is going, even though it's not super wash, this is going to go in the barista pile so that there is a larger size hat. And, um, be good for somebody with like locks mm -hmm. or dreads. Yep. Um, so yeah, so that is done and the pattern will be out in 2023, which is such a weird thing to say, but so that's two like weeks two now. weeks away. Um, so yeah, sometime in 2023, like towards the beginning of the year, probably January. Um, yeah. So that is what I finished. That's out of hand spun that I spun. Um, it was spotted you who's no longer dying some of her, um, stuff. So queen of the North was the colorway. Mm. It's very, um, frozen vibes. And I knit this on size four and size five needles. So yeah, it's very squishy. I wish that's heavy to knit on them. Four or five. Well, you know, I'm so loose. Yeah, I know. It's the word on the bathroom wall. <laughs> that oh. is a real problem at my school right now, <laughs> by the way. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll have to stop dropping by and leaving yep. little love notes. Yep. Um, not so much for me, but for the kids. And then I have some spinning. So I've been spinning some sock yarn. This is uh, Wound Up Fiber Studio in the Burning Bush colorway. And so I have actually two bobbins done now. You can't really see the pink. It's a little bit hidden. But, yep. So two of these are done. This is the last little bit to go. It will be a three-ply with a nice tight twist. And, yep, that is being spun on my Starling. And then on my Ladybug. I grabbed the, um, I was inspired by Emily Nitwit, um, to, we at SSK did like little mini swaps mm -hmm. where people brought a braid and then tore it up and we filled a whole pool full of little minis. This was, um, the creative mind of Jillian Marino. Yeah. And then she had a giant scoop <laughs> and she, and we had scales and she weighed out what people brought um, back in minis. And so I have four ounces of minis and I think I have four or eight. I don't remember. I think I might've seen Yeah. Eight. I gave other people braids that I brought. Yeah. So it was just four ounces. I didn't, I didn't even go up there. I just, I think I had Gwen because it didn't <laughs> matter. For me. It's just yeah. like whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I spun the singles and I'm going to apply them and it will be interesting to see how that comes out. Yeah, it'll be bananas. There's a lot of different ways that you can do that. And then the final thing, which I'm so excited about, is my cotton. So I spun cotton, y'all. And this is my first time spinning cotton. So for a first attempt, I think it's really, really good. Cotton is a super short staple fiber. It is really, really difficult yeah, to like spin. An inch, inch and a half? No, like a centimeter centimeter two centimeters right. no it's it like really no it's way shorter than that um it is so short mm -hmm. it needs a lot of twists to keep together Let's see what dr google says. okay um it is so so very short and i spun this long draw on my daedalus um starling and then plied and it is from hip strings it is hand dyed upland cotton carded sliver in the beachy king colorway and i'm just really really proud of myself for stretching myself to a non protein fiber okay the, apparently there's different types of cotton yeah so you want versus upland long. cotton carded sliver um plants with individual fibers measuring up to an inch and an eighth are known as short staple. Long staples are one and a quarter up to two inches. Yeah, um, this was super short, but that could all just be a But then brain. another site says um, 37 millimeters. So 37 millimeters is uh, 10 millimeters is a centimeter. So that would be three centimeters, right? I feel like almost four. 
Yeah. Anyway, it's why are super you listening short. to us do math? That is that is <laughs> that is on you. <laughs> so it's just super short and difficult to deal with. Um, but I'm gonna get better at it. I have some more of this to spin, and yeah. And I think this will be good for weaving because it is a little bit more textured. Oh, it looks like it can go down to like 20 millimeters. So that so would be short. two centimeters. So mom spins recycled blue jean fiber, which is very, very short. That's niche. Where would she find that? Does she like destroy jeans? And... No, no, no. She bought it oh. in sliver form from somewhere. Um, that is very niche. What's she going to do with it? I don't know. She's been spending it for like 10 years. Now I'm going to Google Upland. Um, Upland. Cotton. Parted. Sliver. Staple. So many random words. I know. I was just thinking that. But yeah. Oh, and hip strings immediately comes up. Well, that's your history. That's Dr. Google knowing you too well. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm going to throw it in a washing machine because that's what hip strings told me to do. Um, because this, because it's already been dyed, has been boiled already. You mm -hmm. typically boil cotton when you set the twist. And it's already done. Ooh, that one's pretty. I do not need more cotton you sliver. Don't. You really, really don't. Um, but yeah. Super pretty. She sells great stuff. Uh, yep. So this weekend, Michael hung a couple of new drying racks for me in, mm -hmm. in our bathroom, and they like fold away, and so oh, nice. they're like invisible when you're not using them. And I had I had a buildup of like hand knit socks and stuff. Uh huh. So on Saturday, no, it was Sunday, I took a nap at like one o'clock and I had put stuff in the washer um, and Michael doesn't wash clothes like he does dishes and I do yeah. clothes like it's just not something he messes with but I guess Carly had peed on something and so he needed to wash it and I happened to get up for my nap and was walking into the kitchen to get a glass of water and I walked past the laundry room and I see Michael throwing stuff in the dryer and my heart just goes oh no <laughs> and um, yeah it's all my my socks and stuff um i i machine wash them on coal but i hang them or lay them flat to dry uh-huh um so how'd that work out for you I, he hadn't turned it on yet oh good so i he was wow, taking things out of the washer that's to put them in the dryer. yeah that is amazing and i was like never ever do, do that, that. <laughs> like on any of my clothes because so many of the things that i buy <coughs> now are yeah like, wash cold and then lay flat to dry absolutely yeah um I'm like, just don't. <laughs> just wake me up if you need to. That's fine. Yeah. So, um, a crisis averted there. but um, That's good. Guess how many ends I had to weave in for this? 150. That's close. 153. Oh, so close. 153 ends um, to weave in on this. So, uh... <laughs> wow. It was, it was a lot. It was a lot. What have you been reading? Anything new? I've been reading the same thing, but I have actually been listening. And on my way to my parents, I have a seven-hour car drive. So I will get lots of listening done because it's just me. You won't be coming with me this time. That's true. It means you won't be able to play on your phone and save all the babies. Or sleep. Um, which is my favorite thing to do when Leslie drives. Well, I don't really let you sleep, <laughs> to be fair. Um, as far as reading, I just started a book last night. I've borrowed several books from um, Kindle Unlimited and just abandoned them. Like, if they get too trite or too something, I'll just abandon them and not feel bad at all about it. Uh, I just started a new one that's, I can't even tell you really what it's about. It's male male romance. That's all I can Do really you remember tell you. what it's called? Steal the Wind by Jocelyn Drake. Oh, yes. Okay. Somewhat That's more political, but... More fantasy than anything else. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm only like a, two chapters into it. Yeah. And then I'm listening to A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexandra Rowland, which is also male male. That sounds familiar. It's like a touch they, the prince or the royal family can touch taste, like they can touch metal and know what it's made of. 
um, like copper iron or whatever. Sorry, that's my dog. No idea why she's barking. If she's barking, she's probably not being. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's probably true. That's probably a safe bet. Um, but yeah, it's a male-male um, fantasy. Um, it's I like it. It's good so far. I mean, well, I've only got like four hours left of it, so um, it's been good. I've been listening to back episodes of You're Wrong About, um, which has been good as well. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, SSK signups were last week. They just closed earlier today. Um, we'll pull for those this week. Yes, we did get more entries than available spots, so we'll do a lottery system like we talked about before. Um, we are leaving the vendor signups open a little bit longer because we were terrible and forgot to actually email vendors and be like, hey, these are open. So only the people, people who, who offended who for were, us before who were active on social media and saw Laura's posts actually knew anything about it. So yeah, people that had been before and were like, hey, let me know when you open them again. Yeah. So um, we'll leave those open a little bit longer, but we'll pull um, numbers for the lottery and uh, let everybody know by Saturday, um, one way or the other. If you don't get in on the first pull, I would say odds are very good you will get pulled yeah. from the wait list. Um, yeah. I would agree with that. So definitely don't lose heart. Uh, I don't really have anything else. Do you have anything else? Nope. I'm just, I'm almost done with my heel. I did it on a podcast. Yeah. I'm very impressed with myself. I got to the part where I don't remember exactly what I'm supposed to be doing at the end of this lace repeat. So I just stopped. I think that's a good move. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to watch Drag Race and order some food. Yes. And um, just hang out because it's dreary and raining and cold. It's been raining here for a week and a half. Yeah. And I am done with it. And we're supposed to get tornadoes again tomorrow. Um, while everyone else is getting blasted with snow, and snow, snow, which I hope everyone is okay. Yeah, um, we are rough. getting blasted with, um, tornadoes and thunderstorms and all the things that Pearl hates. <laughs> so on Saturday when the big thunderstorms mm -hmm. were moving through, she kept hitting me and I was like, I cannot control the weather. <laughs> Like, I appreciate the fact that you think I can control the weather, yeah. but I cannot. All right. Well, um, we hope you guys have an awesome week, and we will talk to you again next week. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.